Hey everybody and welcome back. We're going for an anime called Cautious Hero, one I know nothing about. I've got an opening and I've got an ending. Then we're going to see how much we can pull from it. But importantly, I want to know if that makes you want to go on to watch it because hopefully, you never know, we might get to these animes. We do anime votes whenever we get to the end of the one we're currently watching. It's simple as that, really. But let me know if you've been watching it, if you love it, if you're a fan of the anime, if it's one that you would recommend to someone and tell me why, but without any spoilers and i know that's a lot easier said than done i really do if you're new to the channel alone, one thing you can do is hit subscribe if you enjoy anime reactions openings endings all these kinds of things even movies channels for you but let's get into the opening for cautious hero and see you again riff i'm getting the riff Liking the sound of the, <laughs> the band, whoever they are, opening, we're, we're getting text, nothing yet, but the band I like. Major solo leveling vibe is the way you stood there, you know what I mean? Just has the same silhouette almost. Totally different now though. Okay. <laughs> Character variety is there. You know, I was wondering if it was going to be like an adventurer. He seemed like an adventurer. He had the sword. Maybe we're going out hunting. Maybe we're exploring the world. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe it's not. You don't know. But then you get all the different... You've got like a character... It looks like kind of a princess sort of vibe. He's muscles. Whoever he is. Almost like a gladiator sort of... I know he's not wearing much. But it's like a gladiator sort of outfit, right? Nope. Speaking of not wearing much. <laughs> okay. And we've got our villains right here. All dark silhouettes, but they look cool. Of course it's Myth and Royd, man. Of course it is. Myth and Royd are brilliant. Right, it's got a cheekiness to it. I mean, the end is obscured by obviously the trailers for things to watch next. Okay, right. What do we get from that? Like the the characters. I'm gonna go, if we can get his silhouette. So I, I, he's obviously our main character, right? Looking out onto the world. Um, let me get these sorts of characters appearing. So maybe these are people he meets along the way. You got muscles on the go. Like, where's he gone? There he is. He looked cool. And then after I said he wasn't wearing much, we get her. The, she's not wearing barely anything anyway. So is it going to have that cheekiness to it? Maybe some referee moments. You don't know. But the villains are obviously living in this kind of castle of thorns. Look at that. It's literally built inside this cage almost of claws or thorns or whatever they are. This, the, 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 the villains, we just see them in silhouettes, which keeps that mystery, right? Like if we look at them, it's the stuff of nightmares, but this one right here, it looks like he's got claws and all sorts, right? That could be cool. That could be cool. And these scenes right here means it's got the cheekiness, it's got the fun. So there's a lot of this, a lot of everything going on in this. Do we have comedy? Do we have action? Do we have the storyline? Do we have emotional depth? It's the one thing I didn't really see was emotional depth in the opening. It's, it's an opening, so how much can you really get? But I will say that it was a perfect opening from Myth and Royd, right? Gotta love that band. Their music's incredible. It, just top notch, just top notch. But let's get into the ending theme, see if we can pull anything else. What? <laughs> I do that animation. Okay. Level. So we level up. We do level up on that. Did you see that? Is it game based? Almost. Beautiful voice. Oh, 
Like, you've got to say that voice is beautiful, right? Beautiful voice. The theme on the end, and, I, you know, I, I often, I think I've said this all the time, but it always stands true. The end and tends to play around with the characters a bit more and doesn't really give us much from the anime. But is this our, like, second main character to him? Is that what it's trying? Is this is that what it's telling me basically? Because she's she's in the spotlight right here. It's a good song. It's a good song. <laughs> I mean, I'm sad you're grooving to it, so it's obviously a good song. And obviously, we're getting quite a bit, uh, you know, hidden by the trailers. Okay, so as I always expect, right, when it comes to the endings, we get something that isn't going to tell us anything. So. The opening character. We're in. We may, I'm going to go out there and say it's an exploring one. We're out killing the bad guy. I, I think it's as cut and dry as that, right? And I think we're going to meet some people along the way, and we level up because we saw like the level scores, right? It's almost like game world sort of vibe. That's, 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 that's all I can pull from that opening ending. But I will say that the songs were incredible, incredible, and with the animation style and the ending, I'm. It seemed very, what's the word? There was points where it was almost like mobile phone game. You know how you get some really epic songs and characters and music in mobile in the mobile phone games, which we've seen a lot on the live streams? It felt like that sort of animation on the ending, but not so much the opening, which kind of confused me at points when I saw the leveling up and I was like, okay, is this an anime series? But it's gotta be. Let me know down in the comments. If you've watched it, what you thought of it, or even if you haven't watched it and you go on to see it, come back here, let me know what it was like, but without any spoilers. But one thing you can do for me right here and now is hit subscribe. Much love, and let's do this.